health alert about your children and brain aneurysms. Five local kids have been diagnosed with one of these aneurysms in the last year. And while they are rare in young people, a local family lost their 11-year-old daughter to the deadly condition in 2009. Jennifer Wah spoke with Sophia Gutierrez's parents shortly after the young girl died. Now, on the 10th year of her passing, her parents want to make sure that you know the warning signs of a brain aneurysm. Sophia was a very shy, sensitive, sweet and caring little girl. And she was perfectly healthy until... She started complaining about blurred vision. I thought, well, maybe she needs glasses. She was 11 years old. Monica Gutierrez wasn't that worried. She made an appointment for her daughter, Sophia, to see an eye doctor and assumed the headaches were maybe associated with her needing glasses. She would say she had a headache. I would give her Tylenol, Motrin, and she wouldn't complain afterwards. So we thought everything was okay. She had no idea the symptoms her 11-year-old was experiencing were of a brain aneurysm. And then on a Thursday morning, she woke up and she said she had a stabbing headache and that's how she quoted it, and that she was seeing white spots, and it was blurred vision again, and she could barely walk from her bed to the couch. Tests quickly revealed it was the size of a golf ball. Sophia was rushed to ICU in excruciating pain. She asked me, why does God make children suffer? Because she was in so much pain. So I didn't really know what to answer at that moment because I was thinking the same thing. And then the aneurysm ruptured. And she went into a coma for nine days. That was the last time we talked. The doctors pretty much told us that Sophia's brain could not recover. She would never be the same little girl again. Sophia died on July 18, 2009, three months after celebrating her 11th birthday. Local neurosurgeon, Dr. Ricardo Hanel, joined me and Monica on the morning show. He says he has treated children as young as 14 months for brain aneurysms. I think that everybody has to be aware it can happen at any age. So don't overplay, don't, don't underplay a headache uh, in a child because you could be dealing with something that is life-threatening. He says patients have described that headache as the worst they've ever experienced. Other symptoms include double vision, neck pain, ringing in your ears, and vision loss. Getting help fast is critical before the aneurysm bursts. Monica is still haunted by her last conversation with Sophia. She asked me to promise her that she was going to go home. I couldn't promise it. I wish I could have told her she was coming home with us. Weeks after Sophia died, her father Omar had a dream about her. He felt like she was trying to tell him something. He went to see Dr. Hanel, who found he had a brain aneurysm too. Omar believes his daughter saved his life. You are 50% more likely to have a brain aneurysm if someone in your family is diagnosed. And women over the age of 40 make up 85% of the patients. Jennifer Watt, Channel 4, The Local Station.